Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our second official day out on the Supercross track. If you guys missed day one at State Fair, that'll be up in the corner. You wanna go watch that. My very first time out on a Supercross track. It was a learning experience for sure. Didn't do anything too incredible, but very, very happy with how the very first day on Supercross went. Um, I actually felt a lot more comfortable than I thought I would. And I had thoughts of doing some gnarlier stuff, but I was like, day one, we'll take it chill. We'll just get through this first week healthy. So now we're out here at Lake Elsinore, which honestly, the track's a little bit beefier. I went out there for a warm up just to learn the track before I threw the GoPro on. Got some of the rhythms down, got some of the big jumps out of the way. And uh, yeah, it's sketchier for sure. But I also think it's a little bit more realistic. So that's gonna be good for us for sure. So uh, yeah, day two on Soupy, let's go get it. Hey Jerry, what's up dude? Another day. When are we starting our J Train podcast, dude? Hopefully soon. You gotta get Jay Hayes mm. up and well, I guess he's walking now, but we're thinking about starting the J Train podcast with me, Jerry, and Jacob Hayes. So if you guys want to see that down in the comments, let us know. Us together. We're, we're pretty dumb. We're a good group. We're pretty dumb, <laughs> but we bring the J Train energy, which is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Jerry, on a scale from one to ten, how realistic is the super cross track today? to like what we'll be racing on. The rhythms are pretty much identical. The whoops are tiny, but they're actually sketchy. Because okay, we're not worried about the whoops. Yeah, you don't get it. We're not worried about that. The right rhythms now. and the finish is way bigger than what you'll see. Okay, that's good. We hit the finish way already. Bigger. All right, you heard it here first. So Pretty realistic super cross track. So when I go out there and I'm looking like a goon, don't friggin' judge me too hard, you guys. It's a little bit harder than State Fair. But uh, hopefully next time we go to State Fair, which will be tomorrow, tomorrow. right? Yeah. Hopefully that means State Fair will feel very easy and we'll feel a little more comfortable like tripling into the rhythms and doing some sketchier stuff. So today will be a learning curve for sure. Got to get some triples down in the rhythms. There's a couple out there that look a little easy. So hopefully we will uh, bust those out and work up to it. But Jerry's already freaking flying. You'll be good. You look great out there, sir. Thanks, sir. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to head out there for my second session. Like I said, we already did a warm-up. I actually did two warm-ups because I wanted to learn the track a little bit before I put the GoPro on. I'm still feeling everything out. Um, like I said, it's really peaky, a lot sketchier than the other track, so this is only my second day. We're still just cruising our way into it, not worrying about whoops or, uh, you know, anything too gnarly. So, gonna keep on making progress, more comfortable, more comfortable, figure out how the bike reacts with this super stiff suspension and all that, and most importantly, make it through the day healthy so that we can ride tomorrow. <laughs>
fun. It's scary though. Yeah, I want to hit this triple in. It looks so easy. stock gearing on it I feel like I can't like get a good enough drive out of it yeah. but then again I'm not going through the corner very fast so <laughs> this is the hardest three on the track it's just the least scary because it's like so low speed like if you come up short you'll be fine on you if you want like a good learning set of whoops this is you're not gonna get better than what they are right now if they weren't so multi-level I feel like they're just so sporadic on the you're height fine until you get to that one like what half yeah the level. huge one you could literally go into these things in second or third and just go, yeah, hot, 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 and just get to feel it. I'd stay away from the left though, because that looks slippery. <laughs> it's like, I wish I could just cut it in half and just try that a few times. Then just do the first five. Four. You say do the first four? Do the first four. Then How do you go. stop after four? Dude, you can stop in these all day long. <laughs> all day long. You're a G, dude. Of course no, you could do no, it. No, no. Go through Go through them? Go through them. Dude, put your bike in third gear. So much better than the left. Jerry, show them how slow you can go through these. Like, like literally go third gear half off. You okay, that actually in, looked really you easy. You could drop in any of those. <laughs> all right, all right, Dad. I'm Jeez. Like, I wouldn't ever tell you to do something that you would have no problem doing. <laughs> you would Don't even give me a high five. That was awful. No, that's, that's all you need to. That's all you that's need it. to do. It wasn't as bad as I thought, but like still. But you if just you keep doing that. Eventually, you'll be like this. If I just go a little bit faster, I'll stay up on top of. Yeah. Eventually, eventually, you'll get to like, a roll where like throttle. they get slippery. Dude, but two times through, my heart rate is freaking yeet way up there. No matter what level you're at. Yeah. I'm trying to develop trust in what the bike will do and what it won't do. I think that's my biggest thing right now is I have no, no idea no, because no, I've no. never done it. So all you can do is take the baby steps and then forget about, I mean, absolutely forget about what we think about you. Yes. You know, you just have to do it and yeah. then you start coming. Yeah. Just worry about your 
It's really it's not like, like we give a shit. Like we that would rather help. I mean, Jerry gives a shit, I but we don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> the nice part is even if you crash at that speed, like you're chilling. You're yeah. fine. You <laughs> could stop anywhere you want to be. Like, I basically did stop. Like you, you can squeeze the bike more with your knees. Yeah, and you're like, and once e, like, you e, go, e. if you would go in like maybe two miles an hour faster, it would, and be it would probably make it ten times easier for you. You could literally just like stand up and go through it. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll get there. We'll get there. You guys are bad influences. You're talking me into stuff that I said I wasn't gonna do. <laughs> and here we are. You we'll only do it when you're were, were you, you, were you incapable in. of that? Borderline. Oh god. I'm just kidding, oh, dude. No, it was I, fine. I quit. I'll try yeah. Three into this one? Yeah. I mean, because that one's like, if you go all, like all the way out like Jerry, it's kind of like wide open. Yeah. You know? I like that stuff. I'll be honest with you. I like that stuff more than this, where it's like half throttle. You have to guess how fast. I like fast, the end, yeah. end, like even that three in back there, rather than like yeah, like this is like yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, I think that one's way harder than these ones, but it's like it's I just feel way better doing it. Pretty tough though. Yeah, I, I, for sure. For... Poppy. I might save that one. <laughs> but like, dude, literally right here, you hit the corner faster than these. Two. You just go right. You got it. Yeah, I'll follow you. <laughs> You guys are talking me into it. It's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm happy with the day. I think I'm calling it. What's that? Easy. I was surprised you did it right off the bat. I was like, Jerry's expecting me to. I can't not. <laughs> hey, the second one's even easier. It's just like rough. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll call it <laughs> before I die. <laughs> it's not that bad. Peer pressure does it for me. <laughs> Thanks to the boys responsible for peer pressuring me into doing stuff I was not gonna do. Better than you think. Better than you think. You know. Hey, when's the Jaywalk Canvas gear coming? The people want to know, dude. Not a time.
talk to the people that are in charge. All right, I'm just waiting for the phone call, man. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Thank you. Two of my favorite people in motocross right there. Jerry Robin, Michael Lieb, great guys. I know earlier I was saying that I was kind of bummed that I came out to California um, just because the rounds moved back to the East Coast. But after spending a day with those guys, it really solidified to me that this was the right move. Um, the most important thing is just surrounding myself with good people who know what they're talking about when it comes to Supercross. You'd be hard pressed to find better people than out here in Southern California. I mean, Michael literally just came out here just to help me and Jerry. So like, uh, that's so sick and uh, I really appreciate that. So this was definitely the right move to come out here. Definitely gonna spend probably about a month out here and then head back East uh, when February rolls around. But for now, I, I'm just so stoked on the progress, you guys. I came into today very nervous because I knew that Lake Elsinore was a much gnarlier track than State Fair, which is the only other Supercross track that I've ridden. You guys know that. I was like pretty scared. I came out here with Jerry before I rode Supercross uh, just to watch and get a feel for it. And I was like, wow, these guys are gnarly for hitting some of this stuff. So when we were on our way to the track today, I was like very nervous, um, very unsure. For it being only my second day, like I wasn't quite sure that I was ready to sack up and do something this gnarly. And uh, even like my first two sessions out there that I didn't film, I didn't film them because I was actually pretty scared. Doing some of those triples was not even a thought in my mind until Michael and Jerry kind of sat me down and they were like, look, we're not gonna tell you to do something that we don't think you're capable of doing. They're just having like their confidence in me made me feel so, so much better about it. Obviously sacked up. Up, hit the whoops hit some of those triple ends i could not be more stoked about the day we're heading back out to state fair tomorrow so i'm really excited to see how riding on this gnarlier track makes me feel on the easier track i'm hoping i show up at state fair and just feel like it's child's play and i'm able to do all the triples in that i wasn't doing before and uh just very very excited super super good day feel like i increased like 15 to 20 percent Whoops aren't so scary now, triples in aren't so scary now. Um, just very, very ecstatic about the day. And I'm actually like excited to go practice Supercross. Um, the first two days, honestly, I was kind of dreading it because I was just like, I just didn't know. I didn't know what it would be like, but now I feel very confident and I'm actually excited to go to the track and learn more and uh, just make progress. So killer day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. As always, we're gonna have another one from State Fair very soon. So keep your eyes out for that and uh, we're just gonna keep grinding. So yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. The comments have been awesome. It really means a lot to me that you guys are so like invested in watching me try out Supercross. You guys are just so supportive, even though I feel very unsure of myself, like you guys are instilling a lot of confidence in me just with your comments. So appreciate it as always. Tune in to the next Supercross day. Peace out guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.